So for today, we're going to be looking at the Season of the Forge Eververse armor sets. If you guys don't know, this is being sold through Eververse right now. I don't know how many pieces have already been sold, but this, you can still get some of the pieces. And each piece that you do get uh, takes, a, takes a certain amount away from the actual bundle. So I think if you have four of the pieces and you're missing one, it goes down to 300 silver, which is three bucks, which is not that crazy. So... The more you get, the better that deal is going to be for you. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that does help as well. Other than that, we're going to be looking at the Vanguard set for the Hunters. For the Titans, it's going to be the Star Cross set. And then for the Warlocks, it's going to be the Symmetrist set. So we're going to be looking at the review for this video, but then expect the Shader video next and then after that, the class specific videos as well. I'm still thinking about doing the forge videos, uh, specifically the forge armors that we got. Um, just because that one did get sold before this one. So that armor is already, it's gone. Like for Bright Dust, you can still get it through silver. So if you guys like to see that video, let me know in the comments below. But to start off, let's look at the Vanguard Dare stuff. So Hunters, I definitely think the Vanguard Dare set is essential for a hunter just because there's so many good pieces uh let's start off with the male's helmet i think is really cool chest pieces are really cool i think the arms are really cool i think the boots are cool and i honestly think all of the, these pieces are really really cool and that goes for the females as well i think all of these pieces are straight up dubs there is not a bad piece in this set that being said <sighs> this armor is probably the worst armor set when it comes to shadering because the helmet, chest piece, boots, cloak, and even boots do not take shaders really, really well. Let's just look at the shaders so that way you guys are aware. We're going to be going through Ancient Wisdom just because you can see it a lot better. But Ancient Wisdom, you get, you'll notice that there's a lot of red that doesn't change color, specifically for everything but the boots. The red on the chest piece, the red on the helmet, the red line on the arms, and then the red on the cloak at the back specifically does not change color, which is very unfortunate. And the reason I say the boots take shaders really bad is because they have this really weird discoloration at the bottom of the boots. The left side, you can't see it so much, but for the right side, you can definitely see it. And then on the inside of the, like the legs, it also is annoying because it does take shaders differently than everything else. So it's just, you're going to, you're going to be fighting a lot of this armor when it comes to shadering. And I... Even though I usually hate armor sets that shader really terribly, this is kind of like the exception to that because it's it's a Cade 6 armor set. Cade 6 has red on him, so it makes sense for this to have red. That being said, would I prefer it for me or would I prefer myself to actually have shader or the pieces change color? Definitely. I would love to have that option of either changing it or just leaving it there. I think that would be a better option. Just give us the option to either leave the red there or leave the colors there or go in there and be like, okay, I want to change this. I want to change that. The other thing that I really should tell you guys is the fact that the arms, as much as I love these arms, the shoulder pads and the arms like that padded arm or that padded piece is really terrible because it's discolored you guys will definitely see it with some of these colors but something bright will make it better because you won't be able to see that discoloration but for cryptic insignia specifically you will see that there's like this weird discoloration between all of the pads and i really hate that i think this arm i think these arms would have been a like probably not s plus because it doesn't shade her well but like an easy a just because they are really really cool there's they're asymmetrical but i think in a good way because you can definitely make it work but it's that red line that really kills me and the pads really kill me as well so i love this armor it's one of my favorite armors but i will not say it's perfect because it really isn't uh, aside from the boots everything takes shaders really really ter terribly and even then the boots do have some problems as well but you can definitely work around it better than all of the other pieces as for the titans we're going to be looking at the star cross set now i i really question what the whole theme of this of the ever set from that season was because when i first saw the hunters i immediately thought oh they're gonna do a vanguard inspired set so titans are gonna get zavala and then warlocks are gonna get um ikora that's cool and then i saw the star cross set and i was like what the fuck is this <laughs> so i 
don't hate this set because I think the boots and the chest piece are really, really cool. Um, the arms are kind of like a whatever's to be quite honest. And the helmet also is a kind of whatever's honestly, the helmet and the arms and the bond or the cloak, the helmet and the arms and the mark are kind of like whatever's. I think the boots and the chest piece are like the biggest pieces from this set just because they give off a very like anatomically like an anatomical like human body like muscle fiber type of thing which is why a lot of people gravitate towards that specifically for siva sets don't don't think i didn't make a siva set because i did make a siva set for this and yeah i think that would be the only positive thing about this armor set because the chest piece and the boots are super cool for that siva set or just in general like i've seen some people do like an attack on titan set which is really cool um i've made sets for all of these already so i like a lot of the pieces that i use specifically the arms i surprised myself a little the helmet i think was an easy choice just because the helmet is really really cool but yeah like this armor set doesn't super duper wow me but it's at least it doesn't have pieces that are unshaderable at least that speaking of shaders let's just look good into it yeah i i'm really happy with how it shaders because it doesn't take like super weird off colors it does take off colors mind you but it's not like super super terrible it's just pieces where it's like oh, okay so the boots specifically the like not the not the iron like the my muscle fiber armor pieces but like over that that's gonna take the off colors which is not that big a deal you can see definitely see in abyssinian gold abyssinian gold the off color would be black so you guys see a lot of black pieces for this and again i'm not a big fan of off colored pieces but in this case i'm like it doesn't bother me that much just because it does look cool and at the same time the main thing that i'm going to be showcasing is that muscle fiber looking armor so again off colors really don't bother me unless it's just everywhere and this one it's not that bad in my opinion so titans let me know what you guys think i definitely think this armor set is really cool and it has a lot of potential to do some really cool things especially the chest piece and the boots the helmet i think is a little too normal I think a uh, anatomical like human face would have been way better uh arms i think are way too like gucci for the everything else is just like kind of weird i i would have much preferred like if the bicep had like the muscle fiber thing and then the forearm as well that would have been really cool but yeah times let me know what you guys think and then last but not least we have warlocks which i'm gonna be quite honest i'm not the biggest fan of this armor set i think the asymmetry of the armor pieces, specifically how it takes shaders, is really, really annoying. You guys will notice that on one on the left side of the chest piece, it's all red, and on the right side is that off-white. And it's the same thing for the helmet, not so much for the arms and the boots. So yeah, I I don't I don't I don't really like this armor set. That being said, I've made some pretty cool sets with the chest piece and the helmet. I would probably use the chest piece set that I made, not so much the helmet set, but yeah, I, again, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's, it's like whatever's as for out shaders. Like I said, you guys will notice that it's just going to be one side is one color. The other side is another, the arms th thankfully are symmetrical and shader symmetrical as well. Helmets, not so much it changes color as well. The boots also are symmetrical. That being said, I'm not the biggest fan of them. There's a lot of happening on the thighs and it's just kind of like visually noisy in my opinion. And I think the bond is just like, it looks like a scale, like, like just a singular scale that you have right there, which is quite funny to me. So shadering, um, it's up to you really shadering. It's just going to be one left side is going to be one color. The right side is going to be the other. And then in the back, you have this like really weird silver color that is super duper asymmetrical, but I don't really have much to say about this one just because again like i said i don't really care for this armor set i mostly do this so that way you guys can see how the armors look uh, on male and female so that way you guys are aware how it's gonna look on yours so let me know what you guys think i definitely think there's some cool pieces in this and i always always like to remind people that i don't look i don't look at an armor set as a whole i look at it as from a pieces standpoint so like for example I'll give you a really good example titans when i looked at this armor set the star cross armor set i immediately got gravitated towards the boots and the chest piece specifically because again it has that very muscle fiber looking armor and when i saw that i was immediately drawn into like human anatomy armor that we have in game and that's where i started to get into it like specifically you could use the helmet from uh not season of the from witch queen that helmet has a very human face 
that's going to be really cool for your attack on titan armor set you're going to go for anything that's like anatomically correct for a human that's going to look really really cool with the set because again it has that muscle fiber armor so yeah i always come across like as a harm armor set i don't really care but as pieces that's when i really start getting into like oh what i what can i combine with these pieces with other sets and that's that's where i have most of my fun because if i see that see it as a set i kind of get bored because it's like all right it's done like they made the set so let me know what you guys think i i will have the shader video for you guys soon after i'm done doing all of the stuff that i'm doing right now but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later